cheers. I got my hot water and also ginger. Good anti-inflammatory. Hey, have you ever heard of that phrase, I'm breathing it in or breathe that in? And we're talking about food, but like I'm breathing it in? Like what the heck does that mean? Hi, my name is Rhonda. I'm a vitality coach for speakers and for businesses. And of course, health. 20 years in the health industry and I just, I, I ooze all these conversations about food and how food can be translated to a beautiful sunrise. I'm breathing it in. Breathing it in is a concept that I've created this energy around that if we take a moment and we, and we don't go directly to ourselves and say, oh, just stop. Oh, just slow down. Oh, do this. Oh, do that. But it's like a way to say to yourself, take a, take a moment here. Let's breathe that in. Or let me breathe that in. Let me find my yes. Or let me receive that food. Let me see all that sexy, wonderful food. Let me breathe it in to, you know, really get things going. Hey, Amy, how's it? Oh, hi, sir. Hi, Amy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. People think I'm geeking out just saying Amy like that. Hi, I'm so glad to see you, my friend. Breathing in is this concept of being able to slow down. So when you see your food, the first number one thing is digestion, is really breathing and giving yourself time for the saliva glands and things for it to be moving. So when you're looking at your food, I really believe it's like sexy food. You know how I have colors in the background and everything looks vibrant? When you do that and you, and you put it in perspective, because people have a hard time with the sexy, Sexy is this energy, this vitality that we, a thing is at its urgence, but it's like this feeling of energy, nothing more than that. Some people might think it's like a sexual thing. Well, maybe it is for some people, but it's clean. It's like that energy when you get your vitality, because that's where we want to go for our, our health. Now, when you're having a conversation and someone's saying, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Instead of answering yes or no, then you can go into the space of, well, let me breathe that in. It gives you a moment to kind of muscle test stuff. Like, where do I find my yes? Because if I say yes and I really don't want to do it, or I kind of want to do it, but my mind is kind of stopping me, this is the time you want to breathe in. So if somebody says, hey, I want to go and let's go for a ride somewhere or for a walk somewhere. And you're like, oh my gosh, you have all these things to do. And you sometimes it's even related with business stuff. You know, you have more work to do that you want to get done. My goats are talking to me. Okay. Okay. They're like saying it's time to be fed. So Kiki has to get out there and feed them. Then you can be true to yourself. And the more true you are to yourself, the more you can feel what's truly important to you. The more that we listen to ourselves, the more healing that we get in our body. The more flow, the more openness, the more release and relaxed space. Then from there, we can take it up another notch. So you're breathing in by looking at like the universe, like everything that's going on in this world. And we start getting out of our head that it's all about us. And we just start doing whatever makes us happy. What makes us happy is going to create that income. It's going to create the happiness factor. If you stay focused in on that, what's your goals? When you bring your goals out on this big white plate and you're breathing it in, you're going, yes, I want to get this, this, and that. So that's your money goals. I want to feel a well-balanced life where I feel happy. You know, these things release out of me that just are like so full of like, you know, torturous things. And sometimes these imprints can come in with what's happened in your childhood. And then it just gets added on after experience, after experience in life. Because what happens in life then is that you have a story from when you were a kid and you believe you're on this path that is like truth. But our brain takes us on a path that's just like left and right and jagged and who did this and who did that and it, we can get scared and a lot of fear in life. But how you get to release that is this breathing in and starting to really listen 
to you and not the brain telling you that I'm afraid of this or I'm pissed off at this or whatever because there's quite a few people out there that are carrying on big anger and how can we get away from that it's coming to the heart opening it up and really giving the experience around life of everything that's working so that you have the power to step out of that fear and that stress and so you can deal with that stuff first thing I thought about this morning is life is painful and wonderful and I wouldn't do it with without all that because those experiences and that loneliness and the tortures of actually going through and clearing a lot of those imprints that happen throughout our life you have freedom from it you have freedom so when you're breathing things in start taking a step back and looking at like really what your true purpose is and if the more narrow you make it the more the fear and the fright is going to come in but when you open it up and you get to see all the gems of everybody around you all the stuff that you have in your life oh it's just so infectiously good so happy vitality tuesday Keep your vision going. Keep opening up your space. Keep finding your sexy. Keep finding that energy that helps you breathe it in. Breathe it in. Keep that energy flow. Love you. Namaste.